112 years ago today, the Titanic hit an iceberg and sank. This is how it happened. At 11.40 p.m. on April 14, 1912, Titanic collides with an iceberg. The watertight doors are closed, but the damage is too extensive and water pours into the ship. At midnight, the captain orders the lifeboats to be prepared while they continue to explore the extent of the damage. At 12.20, the band starts playing, and by 12.25, Thomas Andrews confirms to Captain E.J. Smith the Titanic will sink. Shortly after, passengers are ordered into lifeboats. And at 12.40, an hour after collision, Lifeboat 7 becomes the first to be launched carrying only half its capacity. And many of these early lifeboats are launched half full because passengers are hesitant. They don't believe Titanic will sink. At 12.47, the first distress rockets are fired. And by 1.15, the water's up to Titanic's nameplate and the list is becoming much more noticeable. By 1.30, there's the first signs of panic as people realize there aren't enough lifeboats for everybody and the ship is sinking quickly. At 2.05, the last lifeboat is launched with 1,500 people still on board the Titanic. At 2.17, the ship breaks in half and finally sinks at 2.20 on April 15, 1912. 